film is about a revolutionary idea that we in this country should pay a basic income to everyone. Why? Well, because a basic income, it's argued, would help a lot of people who at the moment suffer hardships. It would also help a lot of people who at present are out of work, including the disabled, to get back into work. Basic income, it's claimed, would improve the livelihood of a vast range of people, many of whom are fed up with the current system. Well, every time you're out of work, you have to keep going to your employment benefit office and sign forms. You have to wait till for a decision, which could take weeks, so you don't know whether you're, being, whether you're getting employment benefit or not. Too much bureaucracy, too much red tape. You have to keep filling forms in, and when you fill the forms in, you have to wait months to get these benefits. For families whose breadwinner is out of work, earnings from casual labour often come straight off their benefit. They lose almost everything gained by finding employment. But if they had a guaranteed income, a basic income, both the wife and husband could find work without losing this benefit. How many people do you know who are positively discouraged from working or who do so illegally? The elderly are often caught in this poverty trap. Well, it would be nice as a pensioner to have a, an income of my own that I could use as I wanted and not to have it taken away from me. Um, and to save all the inconvenience of waiting for pension books to come back and uh, forms to be filled in. The present system often prevents people from retraining or accepting promotion for fear of losing their state benefits, such as family credit. Single parents also lose most of their benefits if they find employment. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's cool because it's in the army. Is it? Yeah. I want to go out to work, but the system itself doesn't allow me to go out to work. I can't afford to go out to work in the sense that even though um, the dole in itself, the income support, doesn't give me enough to be able to actually live as it is. If I go out to work, I have to pay for holiday time for the kiddies, illness, sickness for, for them and for me. There is no job in itself that caters for a single parent on their own with children that can pay for the quality childcare that's needed at the times when you're needed in work. In these days of high unemployment, most of us know someone who would rather be working than on the dole. But they can't find work. And if they can, they say the gain is so little, it's hardly worth it. That's one of the reasons the Basic Income Research Group wants to improve the existing tax and benefit system by introducing a basic income, a citizen's income, an income for everyone as of right. It's a way of giving everyone automatic protection against poverty, but making sure the money isn't wasted by getting it back through the tax system if they don't need it. Well, I'm sure the members of the Basic Income Research Group see this new scheme working like child benefit, an allowance that no one can take away. Going through sort of childbearing and living at home without any income, which is actually their own whatsoever, for a long period of time. I think you're right. I think you're right. But in this sense, and their beliefs are beginning to take hold at home and abroad. In fact, a very, I think Europe is going to be a very good vehicle for basic income ideas because there is completely new thinking going on at the European level on all matters constitutional to do with social rights and duties. Basic income would be much like a pension but is an allowance to which every man, woman and child would be entitled. The research group says it's also much fairer than the present system. For one thing, there are all kinds of terms and conditions attached to our present system. If you want to claim unemployment benefit, you've got to have paid the right number of national insurance contributions in the right years to get it. You mustn't have left work voluntarily. You must be available for work. Indeed, you must be actively pursuing paid employment. And if you start to train or to study, then you might well be disqualified. The research group also argues that the current system discriminates particularly against women. Women who give up work to start a family forfeit their tax allowances. But basic income would allow mothers to stay at home and still retain a tax-free cash payment each week. Basic income
income is a move on from the current benefit system, but will build on the pioneering advantages of Britain's welfare state. The big difference is that basic income positively encourages people to find work, and you're certainly not penalised if your job is casual or part-time. All sorts of people could be better off. Well, a basic income would help me because I wouldn't have to keep claiming. I wouldn't have to keep filling in forms. I wouldn't have all the red tape and the aggro of waiting for the money to come. And whether I was entitled to it or not. Basic income would save me time and hassle because it would save me the effort of having to go into a benefit office, answer questions about my personal circumstances and details. Therefore, it would just like, and the, and the time factor involved in that would also be saved. So basically, basic income would save me time and effort and the hassle. Well, it would be uh, good to have this extra money for yourself and be able to use it as you want it. And um, to feel that um, it won't be taken away from you. Basic income would give all kinds of people an opportunity to choose what they want to do with their lives. I believe it would make a difference to elderly people, to people who are caring for their children or for their elderly parents, people with disabilities and especially women. Women, when they retire in this country, can have real financial difficulties. Only a quarter of elderly women have a full pension in their own right. If, in fact, pensions were based on length of residence rather than national insurance contributions, I really believe that this would be a boon to millions of people. But who's going to pay for this new system? Hermione Parker's book, Instead of the Dole, sets out the financial options. Well, basic income will be paid for out of several sources. In the first place, savings on existing expenditure on social security benefits, most of which could go. In the second place, savings on income tax allowances and reliefs, most of which would go. And lastly, savings on administrative expenditure. A small basic income could be implemented within two years of the decision being taken to do so. In my view, it's very important that that decision be taken as soon as possible. Another supporter of basic income is Sir Ralph Darendorf, Warden of St Anthony's College, Oxford. Well, the essence of a just society is that everybody, all members of society, stand on a common floor. A common floor which involves equality before the law, a common floor which involves the right to vote, but a common floor also which involves certain basic social conditions and these basic social conditions as opportunities for everybody should in my view ideally be defined by a basic income which uh, everybody is guaranteed. Actually the uh, discussion and to some extent the implementation of a basic citizen's income started in the United States where large-scale experiments were made uh, years ago. It went on to Canada. There is now a European basic income interest. Sir Ralph Darendorf also argues that basic income deals with some of the core problems facing society. It seems to me that this is a straightforward way of avoiding the humiliation of a bureaucratized welfare state and getting towards the clearer horizons of uh, a citizen society, a civil society. Lovely. Basic income, citizen's income. An income that's yours, whoever you are and whatever you do. A basic income would mean that it meant that I could follow the career that I wanted to, to follow, regardless of the amount of money that it was going to pay me. So I could follow the, the career, even if it was a low-paid career, and still know that my family, the food, the, the essential items were still going to be paid for. Because at the moment, the essential items are tight when you're on the dole and they're tight when you're in that first level of, of going out to work. They're so tight. If you feel the current benefit system isn't working and that basic income is a good idea, then the group would like to hear from you. This is the address and phone number to contact.